In last Wednesday's video, we made a comment about she wanted to go rally racing. Well, we just bought a car. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. This is 151 Garage. <laughs> Tell you a little bit of what happened is just we'll go through the, we'll go through real quickly. I went ahead and registered at Copart.com. Copart is a salvage auction website where they usually sell vehicles that have been in wrecks, salvaged vehicles, whether it be just a salvage title. They do sell vehicles that are probably regular title certified. Ours, however, the fact that we are just regular people, we're not a business, we could only buy salvage vehicles. This is from Georgia. Now, the funny thing is, when we bid on this car that we just won, we're, we weren't expecting to win. In fact, this was probably the fifth or sixth vehicle we bid on, just playing around. I never thought my bid which stick? It was one bid. <laughs> one bid for $25 over what the last person did, which was the next step. So it was like $25 increments. So it was $625. I bid $650. And I saw that counter go just all the way around. And then all of a sudden, you won. I'm like... <laughs> I would write there and wish them when I when it the, happened. The first thing out of my mouth was, oh shit, we just won a, we just won a car. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going rally racing soon. Now we won't go through the vehicle or anything like that. Now my first thought was when that thing went all the way around, I'm just like, did that just actually happen? I was like, you gotta be kidding. Nobody else like, bid on that. No way, no way, no way that we bought a car. Every other car that I bid on went over a thousand dollars minimum. It was usually like two, maybe even three thousand dollars. This one went the six fifty, which isn't bad considering this is a salvage vehicle and mm -hmm. it wasn't that much damage to it. It does run and drive, but it is under a salvage title, which means I can't drive it on the road. It will be trailered back and forth to the rally race. Mm -hmm. So, that will become an issue later because we don't have a trailer. So when you get like a, a salvage vehicle like that and you're just going to do it for time attack, rally racing, whatever, you don't have to insure it because it's not driven on the street like from your house to work and back, that type of thing. It's just going to go onto a trailer, it's going to go to the event, go back onto the trailer and come home. <coughs> the thing with this car... <laughs> I don't know why I even bid on it because I thought it would be cool. There's lots of products out there for this vehicle. Um, I don't know. I, I, don't I saw know, a picture of it and there's like hardly any damage to it. <laughs> I don't know exactly how well this car is going to be on a rally race. So basically it's not meant for <laughs> off-roading as most vehicles aren't anyways. Um, We'll give you all a hint. It is a six cylinder. <laughs> That's all leave, you're getting. <laughs> leave a comment down below of what kind of car you think it is. If it's that car, when we do the reveal of what car we actually got, we'll put your guys' name at the end of the video. Because I have, I rarely, rarely see this vehicle at the rally race stuff. So that's another hint. <laughs> For good reasons. But like I said, there's a there's a a lot of vehicles or a lot of stuff out there for this vehicle. It's just not necessarily rally race. Though I did find some really cool parts and we will get that later. We will get into that when we actually get the car. I was floored of what is actually available for this car for what we want to do. Like the weirdest things ever. So, it's, I don't know. It, it's 
definitely not your normal off off roader. No. Um, so with that, we are going to go through the whole process of pulling the car apart, looking at the damages, repairing the damages on our own. For the most part, obviously, if it does take a professional and make it safe, we will do it uh, that way. But most of the stuff we can fix ourselves, whether it be body panels, a little bit of suspension, a little bit of body work, stuff like that, we'll go ahead and take care of it out ourselves. We will freshen up the motor, oils, fluids, uh, brakes, everything like that. We'll make sure it's good everything. for off-roading and safe for her and I to drive. Yeah, pretty much everything you would do when you buy a used car from Craigslist, <laughs> minus the damage work. Yeah, or from Craigslist, including the damage work that they don't usually show. Like, they take pictures of the good side of the car and don't take pictures of the fact that the entire other side is missing. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, but we will go through everything. Whenever we work on the car, it will be a Wednesday video. We'll work on it probably on a weekly basis. It might be just like small bits and pieces, you know, taking the body panels off. But this is going to be kind of like a series on a Wednesday for us. We will work on a vehicle constantly along with my vehicle her vehicle and diesel's vehicle so but do we want to tell him that diesel passed away you already did oh i mean <laughs> this being said when we do talk about diesel's vehicle diesel did pass away this last mm -hmm. week uh diesel was my service dog the other two dogs we have, which are the two Dobermans, are replacing them. So, you know, we are keeping the car. We do still call it Diesel's Bronco because that's who we bought it for to transport him back and forth as well as our other dogs. So, but that'll yeah. be a later video. It's too fresh right now to get too far into it. But, you know, if you guys want to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, especially for Wednesday's videos. It will be a series for us to do and work on these videos on Wednesday. Next weekend, we are going to the rally race that we would normally go to. It's, I think it's like 10 miles away, 6 yeah, miles away. It's like, like it's like 15 minutes away from us. So it's like 6 miles up the road. And we're going to go up there and take a look. And we'll get some video and see her reaction to exactly what this is all gonna be like and talk to some people and see what they like so everybody that i've heard online said this is the most fun they've ever had for the money that they've spent and their son actually came six hours yeah with a people car drive People drive a long it. ways to do this type of rally race. It's called rally cross is what it is. So it's not with other cars. It is solo, kind of like a autocross where it is a solo event. You are the only one on the track. She will be the only one on the track. She's going to run over as many cones as she possibly can. And they're going to be bright orange like this, <laughs> but usually underneath the vehicle probably. So that's okay. Stone cone killer right there. You ready for this? No. You ready for the car we just bought? No. I'm not. I'm... <laughs> First question, will it fit in the garage? Doubtful. Barely. Barely. And I did not realize how long this vehicle was. Barely. Couldn't be a Yugo where I could turn it sideways in the garage. It has to be... Uh, it's, anyways, stay tuned. Let's just say it's longer than that. <laughs> it is. You think I'm kidding. It is longer than this. There's and more room this. in the front of this than there will be of the car that we just bought. <laughs> Again, leave a comment down below of what car you think it is. Wish us luck because we're going to need it all. I can't wait to see the comments. <laughs> you bought a what to rally race? That's not a rally race car. It, it is, is now. now. Okay. Bye. Bye.